say in who got cast for oh, this movie? I hear she did. Yeah. Well, she. Well, we had chemistry tests, mm -hmm. um, which weren't. They these weren't as terrible as they sound, but God knows they can be sometimes. But we just have to get in a room and do a couple of scenes, and then it's it's uh, down to our you know elders betters to decide if that chemistry you guys are going to sort of go down in history as being both of you simultaneously her first sort of big love scene partners which is just a little too much for me to yeah. take in at one time go down in history <laughs> this is what we'll be known for what's next for both of you guys what, 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 are, you, what are you working on now um, oh I just finished uh, the sequel to the Percy Jackson franchise called The Sea of Monsters that comes out in August in 3D now. Cool. So. Um, I'm about to start publicity for something I just did for the BBC called The White Queen. It'll be on stars as well. Uh, yeah. Which is about the War of the Roses. Philip George. Philip Gregory. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that kind of thing? I do. Hey. I read it. <laughs> <laughs> Edward, I'll say Edward. Anyway. <laughs> Um, what, do you, what do you think are the basic elements that turn a sci-fi into a classic? Unique ideas. Um, I think people are really bored with seeing... Hey, I'm speaking for myself. Uh, really bored with seeing explosions all the time and things being demolished and aliens. And we've seen it a million times. You know how it ends up. Some A-list Hollywood actor will say today. Nothing unique. If you look at the great science fiction films and books... Um, Close Encounters. Like Close Encounters. Yeah. 2001 Space Odyssey. It's less about explosions. It's more about ideas. It's about the, the human journey through this it poses peculiar questions. world. Um, yeah. Not to say that not to, not to say that the host is 2001 Space Odyssey or Close Encounters, but it has the same kind of sensibilities in the way that uh, Andrew was really allowed to make a film that burns really slowly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it poses questions. And it poses questions. Yes, yeah. Max. It poses questions. It poses questions. <laughs> and it takes yes. risks. It takes risks. Yeah. yeah. Well, in this day and age, it, it, it is a huge risk to, to trust an audience's uh, attention span because a lot of people don't. They they count it out, and I think it's brave to to say no. An audience will sit through a film if the characters are developed and the story is strong. Thank you, guys. Man. <laughs>